Hey everybody, it's Dwayne here with Dwayne Custom Baits. We are making up, as you can see right here, these are green, uh, I'm sorry, I guess I say green pumpkin, that's not right. These are my water beetles, and the color is uh, watermelon seed. And of course, these are injected. Here's the molds, the three molds that I have. So it's time to put the gloves on, fill up the injector, and shoot a few of them. Well, let's show you all what we're doing. See, this is a lot better. Only you see my hands and the molds and lures instead of seeing my ugly face. How's that? <laughs> well, you see my dirty table too, but let's stir this up one time here just a little bit. Get salt and everything all stirred up so I don't just suck it all out uh, here the first time around. When I do that, okay. Fill her up. Well, dump it down. Suck it up into it. I hope you can see this stuff pretty good. Okay, and we uh, wipe that down. Turn it off. Okay, I know I flipped up where you couldn't see, but here we go. Now let's fill them up. There's one. And we top off a little bit right now. And we're going to come back and top it off in just in a minute too. But right now, we don't. I mean, we do, but then we go back and do it again. Because it will go down some. So, there's that one. Slow it down. Okay, and then go back and go one. A little bit on the second one. And a little bit on the third one. And that will do it for me. And we just shoot the extra back down into there. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Now, push it out. Get rid of this. Okay. Get this extra out of here. It gets hard. A little bit hard. And we push this back in to shoot that out of there like so okay i don't know if y'all saw that or not my hands might have been in your way okay now this is still nice and warm so i go ahead and turn it up put it back in there for now this one I'm, i could but i'm not going to so this will be ready quicker let me get that out of your way notice i've had that in your way there somebody should have made a comment telling me hey your uh handle is in the way <laughs> But that's okay. Stir it up a little bit here. This will be a short video because, well, I've only got the three molds, so and the battery. My battery's not 100% charged on here, so. But that's okay. I'm gonna have to wait a few more minutes on this. So okay. I'll wait for those to cool down, and this is okay at the moment. Let's go ahead and cut this up, so it'll be ready when I want to melt it down, man. This is very simple that all uh, that I do. You saw that whole piece, well, that's what it looks like when I get done. I cut up little bit pieces like that. It melts down for me. Nice pair of scissors out. Just as plastic, it's just a little bit warm still, but that's okay. Alrighty, so. Actually, since it's warm enough, I'll go ahead and put it in here. Yeah. It'll melt down pretty quick, so that's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let that do that now. Okay, now. See what I said about before? How you got the little sinkholes in them? That's why you put some in a couple times, because if not... Well, these it probably might not do it, but in other some other lures, it could suck down in there and then put you a little hole in the end of your mold, your lure, and you don't want that. So that's why you top it off. Okay, there she be. Watermelon seed. Okay, cut that end off. Set it over here, and this will make 30. So that's three bags. Uh, we're going to have 45, 50, 50 pieces maybe all together, I think, here out of this pour. I forget exactly how much this will make. But we'll have to wait and see here. But then, like I said, well, that time I pulled it off instead of cutting it. But that's okay. And then, then see, if, if like most people, these would be done. But I put eyeballs on them, so we got to, I've got to wait on because mine aren't done since you know most people let it cure tomorrow until tomorrow and then bag them up and 
off they go. Well, mine aren't ready. I put eyeballs on them. So, like I do my swim baits and my that's the that's the five and a half inch swimming shed that I've already done. I showed just shoot me shooting it in the in the uh, down and dirty color. That's that that I shot the other day, and it's the, I glue them on first, and then I dip dip these in right there. So that's just a couple extras that I had here. We just tear these pieces up here, like so. Tear that up, alrighty. You see, yeah, she's about ready, so very good. I'll shoot one more if my battery lets, allows me to show me doing it. And I'll have to charge up the battery again, so. Alright, close these up. There's one. There's two. Three. I like to have about at least five, so I need at least two more. Ten would be awesome. But then I had to get new of these, but that's okay too. So. Okay. Good and tight there. Get this one good and tight. Okay. Drop a little bit more again. Mm, excuse me. It couldn't help that little burp there. Stir that up again. <clears throat> Sorry, I still do have a little bit of the sniffles. Alright, put the gloves on. Because this thing does, like I said, that'll, that's, that injector is aluminum. It will get hot and it will burn your hands up pretty good. Not as bad as spilling the plastic on your bare skin, but it will hurt. Okay, sorry to me put my glove right in your right in the camera lens there. But okay, alrighty. So there's this one. Actually, it's gotten up in the 60s today. Day be a good day if I have a spot to go fishing at to go and try and catch a couple with my new camera here with this GoPro type camera, but it's not a GoPro, so. Alrighty, there's one. Okay. And two. And three. Like I said, I toss them all off right now, then I go back and top up. I don't know if you can see it or not. See what, this one right here is already starting to go down, and so is that one. So that's why we top it off again. And that one. Alrighty. And then put this back down in here again. Very simple. Processes. Get off of there now. Okay. Very easy stuff to do. You just gotta be very careful. It is time consuming, so this is my only job. So anybody want lures, give me a buzz. <laughs> you see this video? Give me a shout out. I can make them in just about any color you like. So, here's the. If you like, if you if you're around smallies, that's what you need right there. The punk rock. It is a killer color. The smallmouth eat them up. So, I'll sell a bunch of those in in that color. I'll just sell a bunch of neat, all these other colors too. But for smallies, that has been a awesome killer color I mean go ahead and cut this up again cut it in half first now I'll cut it in little pieces here how we do it kind of an instructional video and show my lures off here so at the same time all right like I said since they're hot we'll go ahead and toss them in there okay it's an ongoing process I do have one pot that's bigger than this It'll hold twice as much plastic as this, but this is what I use right most of the time. Unless I make more than something with a hold with about 10, 10 bags or something of one color, then I'll use, well, I mean, even it's double color, because I do have two of the bigger pots, but I uh, normally use this one. If somebody just wants one or two or three bags of something, one color, this is what I use. So. Like I said, right now there's 30. That's enough for three bags. So we're doing good. Starting with these three, starting on the fourth bag. So we're doing okay here. Okay. Definitely want to get out and go fishing with this. 
I'll probably have to wait till next year to do that though. Whoa, uh -oh, got a spill there. Where's my thing? There it is. Okay. Wipe it up. Very good. Nice and easy. Very nice and easy to do. Alrighty, let's see. If these are done good enough. Yep, yep, and yes. Okay. This will be the end of this video once I pull these out. If you like my lures, like the videos, give me, give me a thumbs up. Tell your buddies that love to fish to check out my lures. They can see what we got. Then they can go to my fa Facebook fan page, Dwayne's Custom Baits. Uh, and the, the pictures of my lures are in the, whoops, the album's called Hand Poured Lures. And the other album is hand injected lures. Click on uh click click on the pictures or if you're on an iPad, touch the pictures and it'll show you the prices and how many you get per bag. Like these here, these are ten per bag for six dollars. Even if even this one here, I don't charge extra for doing two color lures. That there is still uh ten for six dollars. So and they have my own, uh, oh, oh good, I thought it fell on the floor. Has my DCB tournament use. That's been killers all across the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, so. My lures have been all over the United States, like I said, Mexico and Canada, so that's where the biggest bass has been caught. Down on Lake Baccarat. Yeah, it's a little over 16 pounds now, it's the biggest bass, so. Alright, y'all have a good day, or good afternoon actually, it's uh, 3.33 in the afternoon here in Pound, Virginia, Wise County, Pound, Virginia, little bitty town in a, down in the corner of Virginia, near, squished down in between Kentucky and Tennessee, so y'all have a good day, like I said, give the video a thumbs up, we'll talk at y'all later, goodbye.